I'm criminal defense attorney Ryan Pasiga, and I'm going to talk about some crimes that people can be indicted or charged for in federal court that relate to firearms. Imagine a, a scenario where someone is a friend of somebody that's ineligible to possess a firearm. So let's say your friend has a prior felony conviction or something else that makes them unlawful to possess a firearm. You may or may not know that, and they have you either gun, go to a gun show or to a store, and they have you buy some firearms for them. Typically, you'll have to fill out an ATF form when you buy those firearms, and you have to swear, among other things, that you are the actual purchaser of the firearm. So you buy the firearm either with your money or with your friend's money, and you give them the firearm. You later find out uh, that they were ineligible to possess that firearm and maybe they're trafficking those firearms to other people and the like. Well, what you'll learn is that you could be indicted as well, which means you could be charged with federal crimes or state crimes for your part in this. And the way that that can happen is the government can allege that you're part of a conspiracy to assist or aid or abet other people that are ineligible to possess firearms. So that's one crime you could be charged with. Another crime you could be charged with is a dishonest disclosure on those ATF forms, basically falsely stating that you're the purchaser of the firearm. And the third thing you could be uh, indicted or charged with is being what's called a straw purchaser, which is sometimes a separate crime or other times um, just part of the ATF form charge anyway. A straw buyer means that it's somebody who really is a middleman in the buying process, but that they don't really intend to be the actual purchaser. So they'll put themselves out as the name of the purchaser, but they're not really the purchaser. So if I'm buying a, um, a firearm from a store, I buy it, then I give it to my friend. I'm a straw purchaser there. Maybe I'm using their money to buy it, but I look like I'm the buyer, even though really the firearm is just passing through me to somebody else. So that can wind you up in a lot of trouble. Now, there are some defenses to it, especially if you do not know that somebody was ineligible, ineligible to possess it or you perhaps thought that you were the real purchaser and you're later tricked into giving the firearm to someone else. But the bottom line is that these are serious crimes that could carry years in federal prison or in state prison. And if you're charged or accused of these crimes or somebody wants to talk to you about some firearm purchases where you gave a firearm to someone else, you may want to talk to a criminal defense lawyer right away. If you have any other questions about straw purchases or ineligible, uh, ineligible per purchases of firearms or any other federal crimes, you can call me. It's attorney Ryan Pasiga. I'm at 612-339-5844 or you can find me on the web at arrestedmn.com.